Now, sharp increase in congenital syphilis prompts focus on prenatal testing. And this is from the Minnesota Department of Health. And this was just about a month ago. And they are reporting increases in this uh, horrible, horrible disease that's totally preventable. Uh, the number of new sexually transmitted diseases continued to rise in 2018, according to the Minnesota Department of Health. Um, of special concern were 10 congenital syphilis cases reported in 2018, a major increase from two in 2017. While congenital syphilis, syphilis in the fetus or infant at birth, can cause serious complications such as miscarriage, stillbirth, premature birth, birth defects, and infant death. Fortunately, the infection can be prevented with proper screening and treatment during pregnancy, according to the state epidemiologist and medical director, Dr. Ruth Linfield. Well, Minnesota is not the only place that's seen increases in this, and these are some more recent reports. This is from New York City, uh, New York City Department of Health, and they're saying congenital syphilis cases in New York City nearly triple in the last year. All right, so if we look at some of the data here, in New York City, the number of congenital syphilis cases increased 186% between 2017, when there were seven cases, and 2018, when there were 20 cases. 20 is the largest number of congenital syphilis cases reported annually in New York City in over 10 years. And this included one uh, syphilitic stillbirth at 31 weeks. Um, then just moving on to another place that have really seen things skyrocket, and that's Arizona. And you can see here this stuff really goes hand in hand. Since 2015, the average uh, yearly average of syphilis cases in women has increased 263% in Arizona. Well, this has resulted in uh, a dramatic, disturbing increase in congenital syphilis. In 2016, of the 16 babies born with syphilis, two were stillborn. So there were 16 total. In 2017, the number of babies born with syphilis doubled. It went from 16 to 31. And just last year alone, 61 babies were born with syphilis in 2018, and 10 have died. So yeah, huge, huge problem. That's not really being addressed uh, very well in the media. Um, and then this was a CDC report that came out in September of last year, and it, it does address it. Um, it says newborn syphilis cases more than double in four years, reaching a 20-year high. This is nationally. Um, reported cases of congenital syphilis, syphilis passed from a mother to her baby during pregnancy or delivery, have more than doubled since 2013, according to the annual Sexually Transmitted Disease Surveillance Report released by the CDC. And look at some hard numbers. Uh, reported cases jumped from 362 nationally in 2013 to 918 nationally in 2017. The highest number of recorded cases in 20 years. Uh, and cases were reported in 37 of the 50 states, uh, primarily Western and Southern states. And the report notes that this surge parallels similar increases in syphilis among women of reproductive age and outpaces national increases in STDs overall. Um, so the CDC has this to say um, concerning testing. And it says, CDC recommends that all pregnant women be tested for syphilis the first time they see a doctor about their pregnancy. But for many women, one test for syphilis may not be enough. Women at high risk for syphilis or who live in high prevalence areas should be tested not only at the first prenatal visit, but again, early in the third trimester and at delivery. So that's a pretty important thing. And I noticed that lots of the states, if not all of them, have implemented uh, uh, first pre prenatal visit, 28 weeks, and then again at delivery. And let me go ahead and close out with just the STD issue that's going on in the United States, and not only in the United States, it's uh, 
all, all countries, right? Countries all over the world developed, um, developing. Yeah, we're seeing increases in um, STDs, uh, particularly syphilis and gonorrhea. And uh, this is a CDC chart, and we can see from 2013 to 2017, total combined diagnoses of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis increased 31% from 1.8 million cases to 2.3 million cases in 2017. Gonorrhea shot up 67% from 333,000 to 555,000. And syphilis increased 76% from 17,000 in 2013 to over 30,000 in 2017. And chlamydia, which is the most common bacterial um, STD report in the US, we saw 1.7 million chlamydia cases uh, in 2017. Anyway, it's a tragic thing, congenital syphilis. Thoroughly preventable syphilis can be treated easily with uh, penicillin. So we have to get tested. This is way too important in such a tragedy. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and comment below. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time for an infectious disease news brief. And don't forget to check us out at the website, OutbreakNewsToday.com, the podcast, Outbreak News Interviews, which can be found on the website, on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Spotify, and the Outbreak News This Week radio show, which is aired Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time in the Tampa Bay area on AM 1380 The Biz, or online streaming at 1380thebiz.com. And check out our social media presence, Facebook at Infectious Disease News, and Twitter, at BackDman63. Outbreak News TV is a production of The Global Dispatch. Copyright, The Global Dispatch, Incorporated, 2019.